YouTube, what's happening? It's Friday, November 8th, and we need to talk college football because Saturday is upon us. Look at all these games we got going on. There are 40 games going on tomorrow on Saturday. It's the exact same amount we had last week. Last week's video was an hour and two minutes long because we had to break every game down. We looked at every stat. We looked at everything we could schedule wise and just it took a while. So if you don't have an hour to watch and you just want to see what I picked and you're cool with that, then all you got to do is go to my website, become a member, join the HQ. You get access to Patreon and then you get every single play of every game sent to uh, Sensi. Boom. That's there it is. I'm trying to give you convenience. If you don't want it, hey, no problem. I am cool with it either way because everything I say in this video is the same thing that's going to be in Patreon. I just try to make it easier for you. Uh, other than that, we have 40 games. It's going to be a long video. Buckle in, grab you some coffee. It's going to be a long one. Let's jump into the first game right now. All right, before we jump into the Syracuse Boston College game, I had to change the sheet up a little bit because I'm getting it ready for members so they can have access to it. And uh, I needed a website that wouldn't break a lot. So I picked a different one. They actually show turnovers allowed, like how many the offense has given up. Uh, per game and then uh, they also show the defense what they uh, force per game and I like seeing that because now I can see something like okay well Boston College's offense is okay at turnovers but their defense is number 13 in the nation at forcing two turnovers a game that's nasty I like that stuff so I love the change here um, also when it comes to the injuries college you ain't gonna get much information but i do know that brady cook has been downgraded in missouri the army quarterback is probable to play and haynes king for georgia tech is mid named a captain so he's probably gonna play right uh, if you know any injuries drop in the comments because we will absolutely appreciate them because that's all i found so far so uh anyways moving on to the game syracuse boston college Let's look at some schedules, shall we? Uh, we can see that they played Virginia Tech on November 2nd. They won it overtime, and now they're at Boston College. Let's look at Boston College. They had a bye week. But before that, they lost three in a row to Virginia, Virginia Tech, and Louisville. Louisville. So you can see they had a nice bye. Now, if we look over here at the odds, we can see that it looks like Boston College is a two-and-a-half point favorite. Interesting, which means that's a home field advantage, most mainly it's a pick is what they're thinking. So now we look at the numbers. I don't think that's the case because four versus 77, that's a 73 spot difference. Damn. Okay. Uh, 127 versus 60. That's a Boston College defensive number. 104 versus 65. That's a Syracuse defensive advantage. 66 for 55. That's a push. So the only offensive advantage is going to be four versus 60. They have two advantages. Uh, they're I mean, they're six and two, which records don't really matter. I mean, we can see the ranks. You can see why they're four and four. You can see why they're six and two. It makes sense. Uh, they ran into Pitt two weeks ago, and Pitt is a really good team. That's why Pitt beat them by 30. So Pittsburgh's awesome. So other than that, and they didn't match up that well either. So so besides that, I'm taking Syracuse plus two and a half. That's what I'm going to do in this one. Uh, let's move on to the next game. All right, let's keep it rolling. We got Boston College. Now let's go. Next up is going to be Ohio State and Purdue. I'm not going to go into this one because, I mean, look at it. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. And let's pop over here and go uh, Purdue. It is a 37 and a half point difference. That's the favorite Ohio State is. 37 and a half with a 53 and a half total. Let's look at the numbers. Do we see anything worth a damn? I don't care about who you play. You're one of seven versus seven and one. It's at Ohio State. If it was at Purdue and it was a normal year, maybe, but no. Uh, 29 versus 104. 34 versus 122. This is not going to be pretty. This should be, this might be 50 to nothing. Just saying, it might be. They have no advantage, anything within 50 points anywhere. This is going to be an absolute shit show. This is not going to be good. Uh, to the point where I'm taking Ohio State 37 and a half, and people are like, oh, that's so much. Do you see the differences here? Look, and I, I almost want to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to pull up Purdue's schedule just to show. Um, the hell did it go? Am I blind? That's the first one. No wonder I'm blind. Ha. All right, let me show you Purdue's schedule. Let's see what they've been up to. They lost to Wisconsin 52 to 6. Yeah, they, they did that with or Illinois, but then Oregon came in because, yeah, and then that. So I don't care. The good teams are going to take them out back. That's, that's what they're going to do. So I'm taking OSU minus 37.5. Uh, if for some miracle reason it's a sleepy start to the day, whatever. I don't know. I'm taking this. It's, a, it's under a good number. 38 is a key number. I like it. Um, other than that, what do I got? Team total Purdue or team total Ohio State? That might be a play. Hold up. Follow my line of thinking. Let's go for a walk. Uh, team props. Ohio State. Touchdowns. Uh, points. There we go. 
mm, 44 and a half. Do they score 45 points? They're only averaging 37.8 this year. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, no, I'm not feeling that either. Okay. Um, the more I think about it, I lean this. I lean 37 and a half. Do I want to take it? Yes. <laughs> Am I going to take it? Also, yes. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. I'm taking it. Moving the hell on. All right. And watch it only get 35. Just watch. Uh, what's next? We got Rutgers coming up next. Okay, I'm cool with Rutgers. Rutgers in Minnesota. All right. Let me see what the line is. Rutgers. Oop, I went back to the right screen. There we go. To the left. Rutgers. Uh, it is Minnesota by six. A Minnesota has been way better than I thought they'd be. Just saying. This is surprising. So... Let's look at them real quick. We're not, this isn't, I don't think this is dig, dig into the schedule. Where, we dig into the schedule when it's a good matchup. So uh, six for Minnesota in the row. We got 76 for 79. That's a, that's a push. 104, 104, 114 versus 94. Uh, that's advantage. Rutgers, 84 versus, yeah, good luck scoring on Minnesota. Minnesota should and will shut Rutgers down. It won't be a problem. Not a problem at all. Uh, if anything, Rutgers team total under would be a play, I would say. But you know what? Let's look it up. I'm going to look it up. Why not? Because we can do that. Uh, let's go team props. You can follow me along with me. I'll let you follow along. Let's go Rutgers points under 20, 21. I can get under 21 and a half or minus 165. They want you to take 20 and a half just in case Rutgers gets 21 points. How do, do you, how do you foresee Rutgers getting 21 points on this defense? That's what I want to see. So I'm, I don't care what's going on in this one. I'm going to take this play right here. I'm going to take Rutgers under 21 and a half. I know it's a little juicy. It's a little bit juicy right there. I clicked it. So I'm going by picks though. So 21 and a half. We'll take that because um, they're not giving me 21 even. If I can get 21 even on um, like Hard Rock or somewhere else, I'll probably take it there because I'm cool with the push. But I'm going to go, I'm going to go rut, rut team total under 21.5. If I can get 21, I'll take it. But hey, 21.5, that's still great for me. It's just more juice. So we'll take that. Let's move on to the next game, which is going to be who? Georgia Tech. I just talked about Georgia Tech. The quarterback has been named a captain, Haynes King. So he shall be starting against Miami. Is that good news for Miami? Or is that good news for, I don't know. So uh, three versus 60, Miami. 35 versus 25. I mean, okay. Slight. Okay. 55 versus 64 push 48 versus eight Miami. So Miami has two advantages and then there's two pushes. So it's Miami. Now, if Miami is literally favored by more than 14, we'll probably leave it alone. I'm guessing. So, uh, let's go Miami. That's 11 and a half. All right, let's pause. Let's go to their schedule. I kind of want to look now, see how they've been doing exactly here recently, like super recently. Um, Miami, Miami, there's heck, there's the R. I am blind so far. What am I doing? Schedule. Mm. Put that min out. We're gonna swap to a stick of gum. That's right. Do what we gotta do around here. Uh let's see. You 53 through over Duke. You're getting points. Uh Georgia says defense is average. Maybe just go buy any team total over. Just look for points. Because I don't know how good Virginia Tech beat you 21-6. You, mm. No, no, this no, I seen enough. We're taking Miami. I don't I don't I feel good. Um Miami minus 11.5. I don't, I don't see any issues there. That seems pretty good. I don't tr need to trust Miami's defense to do anything because otherwise it would be a bad day overall probably. But uh, their offense, no worries. They'll do their job. So, uh, look, they don't force. Oh, look at this. Look, and we can actually use this. Both teams are good at turnovers, um, not giving up the ball. And they give up. They've only forced 0.7 turnovers a game all year, which is terrible on the year. So, Oh, you can see it's already paying off. Good information. Let's keep it moving. Let's see where we go next. We are moving on to Cincinnati. Nice. West Virginia, Cincinnati. Uh, 90 versus 101. That's a push. 30 versus 115. That's Cincinnati all day. A 24 versus 90. That's West Virginia all day. 54 versus 39. That's a push. So we both got their strength versus their weakness. Okay. So West Virginia is going to run since he's going to pass. Okay, cool. Um, let's see what the line is. Cincinnati. It is three and a half Cincinnati at home. You know, that makes sense. That makes sense. I don't know what to do. Both defenses are kind of bad. The over under is 55 and a half. This feels like one of those games that should go over based on the defense. 
being terrible here. Both give up yards. You're good at points, but you're both, you give up so many yards. You don't give, don't force turnovers. You're both average of holding on to the ball. Let's, let's take the over. I think we're going to rock the over 55 and a half in this one. This feels, makes me feel warm and fuzzy, doesn't it? Makes you feel that way too, I'm sure. Now we're moving on. Tejas. Yeah, Florida, Texas. Wow, this is, these are all the early slate too. Everything's early and all right, what's, 21 and a half Texas. They want you to take Florida. Nah. Mm -hmm. That's what they want you to take. They're like, ooh, get the key number. Like, come take this. Uh, yeah, look at that. 21 and a half with a 47 and a half total. I don't know about that, boss. I don't know about that one. Mm. We'll see how good Miami, uh, not Miami, but Florida has been doing recently and how Texas has been doing. Uh, you know, we tend to forget things. Uh, Florida hung with Georgia for a bit, but Georgia was just being Georgia. Nothing fancy there. And then Texas, what have you been up to? Oh, yeah, you escaped against the powerhouse of Vandy. I mean, yeah. You, ooh. All right. Yeah, early game. Okay, 13 versus 70. Texas all day. 65 versus 89. Still Texas slightly. 56 versus 1. Number one pass defense. Good luck. 83 versus 16. And they're on the third string, too, um, because what's his name? Uh, Lagway still hurts. So he's questionable. Like, dude, you ain't playing. Like, you could have got carted off last week. Like, come on. It's going to be Texas. And we're going to see Arch Manning come in. It's 21 and a half. I'm taking it. I just, I, I ain't buying this. Texas minus 21.5. This should be one of those games you're like, damn, that game was, that, ooh, what, what was that line for? That's what it should be. Um, Yeah, let's move on. Oh, ooh, okay, now we're going to Texas and UL Monroe. This game, 32 versus 23, that's their strength. 38 versus 107, that's their real strength this game. <laughs> Don't be trying to pass. You should be able to run because they give a lot of running yards. They can't throw. They'll shut it down. They they push there, they're 58th and everything. There's average. There's an average defense. Uh, they do turn the ball over a good bit. That's concerning. That's a little too much turnovers for me. They're doing pretty good. So I think, what is, what's the line on this one? Um, Monroe, it is Texas State minus eight and a half. They have a clear advantage in here. But I mean, ugh. I mean, I lean Monroe. I'm going to tell you, I lean Monroe. I don't know if I, I wouldn't take Monroe, but you know what I'm saying? I lean it, but I'm not taking it. This game's just going to be a pass for me. I just can't. We're going we're gonna to move the hell on from this one. I can't do it. I can't do it. Keep it moving. Um, Navy, South Florida. Um, what the hell happened to Navy? Navy fell off, didn't they? Let me open up some Navy for us and some South Florida. Let's look at their schedules. Right, we'll open some. We're not going to open all, but we'll open some. Schedule for the, the midshipmen. And let's see. You lost your last two to Notre Dame. Makes sense. Defense. And then Rice. What the hell are you doing losing to Rice? You don't lose the food. Hey, that's famous Josh Pate words. Like, come on now. South Florida. What are we doing? You won your last two. UAB is UAB. And then FAU. Okay, let's look at the odds. And that the odds. Well, I guess we do need to see the odds too. It's what, Navy by seven, I'm guessing? Navy by three. Okay. Uh, can't pass. Can't stop the pass. <laughs> Simple. Can't pass that much. Somewhat average stop in the pass. Slight advantage defense. Five versus 63. There's your game right there. That's the whole game. 53 versus 97. It's Navy by three. I mean, this is simple. Navy run ball. Run ball over you. You can't stop. Game over. Yeah, so Navy minus three. I mean, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? We got a, we got a clear advantage. This is what they do when they can't. Their average is stopping it. It's, it's probably going to be low in scoring, too. It's 56 and a half as a total. Like, yeah, this might be like a 28 to 14, 17 game, but I just, not with this defense. I don't, I don't trust it, so. And South Florida is such a fast team. They go so fast. Uh, let's move on. Middle Tennessee and Liberty. Thought y'all were playing on the weekdays. I thought I was done with these games. Oh, my goodness. Um, all right. Liberty is 11 and a half. Are they any good for real? Like, I'm not looking it up. We know they play garbage. Like, hi, Middle Tennessee. My name is Garbage. Let's see. 86. Trash. 38. Push nine. That's 105 spots different. 131, 72. It's Liberty all day. If they don't cover, it's like, why? What, what happened? 
there's something something would have to terribly go wrong to might not cover 11 points 11.5 you have you have the high ground literally so this matchup versus this is all we need to know all day nine versus 116 you run the ball you win by 30. simple math simple math uh now we're going to a fun one <laughs> oh oh yes yeah, so fun all right um it is UConn by seven and a half UConn is favored on the road by seven and a half I mean they're six and three damn they're doing good let's you know what UConn deserves it let's open their schedule up let's look uh UConn and UAB beat the living shit out of somebody last week I can't remember who it was though we're about to find out uh let's see you lost to Wake Duke and Maryland but you beat all the other teams that you should beat UAB, who did you beat the hell out of last week? You 59 20 over Tulsa. That's who it was. You're two and six. I mean, you're uh, three, four, five, six. You're trying. You're trying to go bowling. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. So, uh, UConn, Rice, Georgia State. Okay, cool. Let's see. 87 versus five. You ain't throwing on UAB. That just ain't happening. 26 versus 130. Now, you can run all day on UAP. Same as, Na same as the Navy game, same as the Liberty game. Just don't throw it. Just run it because they suck trying to stop the run. 35 versus 37. That shuts UAB down right there. 98 51. That shuts UAB down. This is UConn by seven all day. Seven and a half. It's one of those weird lines, too. It's like they want you to take the UAB line. So we're going to take minus 7.5. That's it's what it should be. I mean, hell, this should be 10 probably. I would take it up 10. This line is going to move by tomorrow. You know it is. So let's keep moving. We're moving on to Southern Miss. Okay. I'm gonna try to do 20 games before I take a break because that's three, six, nine, ten. We're ten games in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Texas Tech will be the third, twenty, the twentieth game. That works for me. Okay. I think I'm good. I got me a sprat. That looks hilarious on camera, but whatever. <laughs> works for me. Uh, Southern Miss and Marshall. Where are we going? Southern Miss. There we go. So Miss. It's so Miss. Five and three, one and seven. Okay. What's what's the line? What are we doing here? Marshall, 13 and a half. Okay. 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 This isn't schedule worthy. I'm going to tell you right now. 122, 31. Southern Miss is one and seven, but good luck throwing on them. Good luck. This might be one of those upset specials, baby. 14 versus 129. Maybe. <laughs> it might be an upset. It might be a what the hell. <laughs> um yeah you ain't throwing on them but you can run on them all day again same story 98 first nope nope yeah this is gonna be offense run all over them was it 13 and a half yeah i'm taking it <laughs> oh minus 13 and a half oh my goodness this is hilarious now this could all go completely terribly i could be like just awful tomorrow but we go with the numbers with the stat if there's an advantage we take the advantage it's simple so where are we going james madison i don't want to take james madison and nothing they are just yeah those two losses i took both of them and they were double digit losses both times bastards 46 versus 44 is a push 71 versus 48 is defense 95 40 defense 46 121 there we go james madison georgia state uh they should run the ball what's the spread what's the line what's the totes uh let's see madison 16 and a half. Oh, I don't, mm, I don't know if I can do that. That seems high. That seems high. Yeah, we got one advantage, and it's a nice one, but it's only 46 versus 121. Uh, I think I want to pass this one. This one feels off. Feels weird. It's not the, like, this isn't worth, one category isn't worthy of, like, 17 points to me. It's just not. Like, this is worthy of, like, at most 14 at most 17 that's a little too much too rich for my blood so we'll leave jm off let's keep moving uh which is good they burn me enough as it is are we going to that's right we're going to the grove baby georgia and so, uh, southern miss <laughs> we're staying in mississippi but we're going north we're going to oxford i think they're north i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so all right so this is schedule worthy so we will pop open let's take a look at them let's look at georgia southern miss uh three versus 16 according to the rankings let's see georgia schedule you just play florida we know uh your loss was to roll tide obviously you beat texas for you got old miss and you have tennessee on deck at home so not really look ahead especially when there's, everyone's ranked old miss schedule 
see what you got. You just beat the hell out of Arkansas, uh, Georgia, and then you have a bye week. So no look aheads either. Cool. Let's see. All right. We're at 12 versus 91. If Connor Beck can, if Beck does his job, we should. What, Carson, Connor, what the, what the hell? Like, what did I call him? Connor? <laughs> if Beck can do his job, this should be exploited all day with 12. One versus 26? Nah, shut it down. You can't run much but you're going to shut down regardless. 45 or 20. If the points is Georgia, it's Georgia all day in this one. It's two and a half. They're number one, but they're going to, they're not going to be as good as they usually are, especially against that Georgia line. That line is nasty. So um, I'm going to take Georgia on the road at two and a half. I think I'm going to do it. I think I will. So Uga minus 2.5 on the road. I know home dogs do traditionally well in college, but Nah, fam. I think I'm going to go with it. I love that versus that. I just need... Uh, now I can't remember what his damn name is. Uh, heck. Georgia. <laughs> what is your name, bro? Yeah. Carson. Why am I calling him Connor? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm tired. <laughs> wow. You know who I'm talking about. Beck, the quarterback. Yeah, so he should have a field day. So, all right. We'll take, we're taking Georgia. We're moving the hell on. Where are we going next? Iowa State and Canassus. Scroll. I have only taken one over. That's real. No, I've no, I'm taking one over and a team total under. That's, some would call that maturity. I think it is. 40 versus 62. Mm, that's a mm, leans Iowa State. 97 versus 3. Good luck. 18 versus 93. Iowa State, as good as they are, cannot stop the run. And that's the only thing Kansas is good at, apparently. 43 versus 85. So both teams are going to be able to run. They're going to do better than their average probably, and they're going to do probably better than theirs. Uh, passing will be down. Tell me this is like a 20-something point spread. Uh, let me look. Let me look. No, of course not. It is Iowa State minus two and a half on the road. They know. They know. I was looking at it. I was like, ooh, that might be the play. This seems like a close one anyways. Everyone and their mama going to bet Iowa State, you know they are. Because they're like, ooh, 7-1 versus 2-6. That's all they're going to look at is the name, and they're going to look at the, the record and say, oh, yeah, 7-1, 2-6, of course, 7-1 is better. <laughs> yeah, so looking at sets, though, we see this. We see that they're not. Um, I think I am going to, you know what, let me take the break now. Let me think about it a little bit. All right, we're back. I'm passing. <laughs> I just, there's, I looked at the schedules. Nothing looks good. Nothing stands out. And I forgot. I was like, oh, you know, I can't pass these things. And I'm going to. I'm passing on that one. It's just, yeah, it's two and a half for Iowa State for a reason. I mean, this feels like a field goal game. Is It has to spread. I just can't. I can't in good faith do that. So we should be going. Yep. Oregon State's up next. Seven versus 39. That's an advantage. I mean, San Jose throws. They toss that tater, don't they? 112 versus 80. That's a defensive advantage. 125 versus 110, defensive advantage. 12 versus 70, offense. So they can run, they can throw by like 25 points. They they have more advantage running than they do passing. So let's look at the odds. Let me see. There they are. It is Oregon State by three at home. Ugh, again, one of those is like, okay, they both have an advantage. Nothing's truly standing out. I'm not liking it. It's weird. Uh, I don't like weird games. We're going to pass. I don't really see the defenses. Well, what's the, what's the total? Total 50 and a half. Yeah, no. They should. Uh, they're, they're, to combine, they're over 50 easily. The defense is not good. They both have a clear advantage. Well, they have a clear advantage. I don't know what they have. They're going to try, though. You know what? We'll take the over. I said pass, but we're going to go over 50.5. I think I like that better. So we'll do that. Let's move on. Where are we going next? Interesting. Michigan, Indiana. We know Michigan's dog shit. It's, it's hard to win when you can't cheat, right? <laughs> They're going to hear that for the next few years, I'm sure. And that's what you get. Have your title, but you're going to, no one believes it's a real title except Michigan fans, which is hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's funny. No one questions Georgia's titles. No one questions most of Bama's recent titles. The old ones, I get it. You can question those. But Michigan's, they will question it for eternity because they're, yeah. <laughs> So funny. Indiana is a beast, I don't know. Now, are they, the numbers look good, but I mean, we have to look at this schedule. Let me show you. See, I was looking. Uh, open this up, open them up. Let's, let's point left in Michigan real quick, guys. Let's point. Look at them. <laughs> okay, 
I mean, they're losing a good team. Let's be honest. Texas, great team. Oregon, number one. Michigan State, they won by seven. You can see what they're doing. They're not losing to scrubs. They're losing to good teams. I joke around, yes. But Indiana, have they, you know, the question is, look at his cupcake-ass schedule. That's what it is. It is, it is ultra sweet, sprinkles on top, cupcakey as it gets. So there's been no one month, like, look. Michigan might be the hardest team they played all year. Let's just be honest for a second with ourselves. Look at the schedule. Who would you say? I, nobody. Like Michigan's the toughest game. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, yeah, they're nine and zero, and they're doing good, and they're whooping ass. But let's see how do they do in two weeks. That's next week, or yeah, two weeks. Get that bye week coming up. So, I don't. Mm, I think Ohio State might humble them. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, so these stats are a little skewed. Let's just be, let's throw it out there. They are skewed. This is probably the best defense they're facing, even though their defense isn't exactly great right now. Passing defense is kind of bad. Their offense is dog shit. We know this. They can kind of run, but they can't throw the ball. They forgot how to throw the ball forward, if anything. So not the best. 19 versus 95. They should be able to pass all day on them. Good. Good. But again, I think Michigan is a little different than other teams they played. So what is the line? That might matter. 14 and a half. I kind of want to take Michigan plus 14 and a half. Kind of want to. Kind of want to. But let's look closer. 62 versus 1. <laughs> now, um, now, these numbers are going to go up. They're not going to stay this low against Michigan. I'm sorry. There's not. The defense is going to. Yeah. Okay. 30 versus 23. I'm going to take 49 and a half. Now, Indiana, Indiana could be trying to make an example. If they're. Let me make this statement. If Indiana is legit, they will route Michigan. If they are not, Michigan covers. That's what my opinion is. And I don't think, we know Michigan's bad. We know they are. Do we think Indiana's bad? No. It's, it's literally November and we still don't know if Indiana's good or not. It's just weird. So, begrudgingly. Be grudged. I did the same thing with Florida State last week. And I shouldn't have done that. What was I doing? Terrible. Um, pass. That's what we're going to do. I almost won't. I want to take the under because then it's like, okay, how are they going to score? And then it's like, um, they should be able to pass the ball. And it's 49 and a half. And I kind of, you know what? It's a Michigan game. Michigan can't score. Under. Let's do it. 49.5. If Indiana covers this over it's because they're scoring like 40 because michigan ain't scoring 14 points no they're just not i don't think they are anyways i don't think you never know it's college football who knows what the hell's gonna happen <laughs> oh i don't know who knows let's have fun uh we're going virginia tech next Whoop. let's move on clemson got humbled didn't you bruh you got absolutely handed to you last week didn't you it was last week right that uh Yep, that's right. Louisville came in and whooped that ass. Literally. I'll open it up for this. I'm going to show you because I like watching Clemson lose. 33-21 to 21 to Louisville at home at that. And then Virginia Tech lost in overtime to the Qs. So, look back over here. 21 versus 46. That's slight advantage Clemson. 23-83. Big advantage Clemson. Can't throw advantage Clemson. 27 towards 59. So Virginia Tech can kind of run. Clemson should be fine here. Uh, don't give me give me single digits. Give me single digits. Six and a half. That's all I need to see. I'm I'm cool with six and a half. I will take it. Clemson minus six point five. Yep. Yep. I don't think Virginia Tech's that good. Just don't think. And that one thirteen passing in the eighty three run, they should be able to exploit that. Um, yeah, they don't portal, but Dabble's actually a good coach, so that's what matters. So, yeah, enough of that. Enough yapping on that game. Let's move on. Duke and NC State. Huh. Okay. It's a lot. Of, I did not expect this much red. Hmm. 62 versus 89. Well, that's a Duke advantage slightly. <laughs> 53 versus 33. That's a Duke advantage. 119 running. You would think Elko would run the ball more. I guess he doesn't. Uh, versus 74. That's a, that's a defense. 101 versus 81. That's the defense. Uh, the only thing we have is going to be literally 62 versus 89. That's not much of an advantage at all. What, what's this line? Two and a half? Got to be two and a half, right? I don't know. It's three. See, I was right. It's was, was right there. So I don't like this either way. I thought this matchup was too close. I don't like the, I don't like the over of the, or the under because these are just average and bad. Ugh, not, not a good combination. This is going to be a pass for me, dog. I can't. I just can't mess with that. 
Ah, yes. Favorites. One of my favorite teams coming up. I'm a, I'm a huge fan this year of the Army. That likes to play football. So, <laughs> because they play, they, they just, oh my God. <laughs> I just realized, oh, that ain't good. That ain't good, boss. <laughs> That ain't good at all. Not when you're facing them. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And then, oh, no. Two versus 28. Their defense is good. Now, they'll be able to pass. They'll they'll stay in the game enough, I'm sure. But that just wasn't good. Uh, let me search Army real quick. Army is... Where are we at? By three. That's it. Interesting. Over under is 63 and a half. Okay, which way are we bouncing with this one? So they're one versus literally 11.3 points a game. That's what Army defense does. They are amazing. 36.9. North Texas offense is, or defense is amazingly bad. Three versus 70. They're not running. They're going to have to throw and get lucky. They don't pass, so we're not worried about that. But that is going to have a field day, I'm sure. They're going to have 300 plus rushing yards. Uh, they're going to pass and have some success. I don't expect them to throw for 371. I expect them to throw closer to 300, which is because they're facing 28. So that should put them probably at like 21 points at least, which is going to be over Army's total. But I still, and now if they take the lead, Army gets behind, we're going, you're going to be in a world of hurt because, but they're going to run a lot. I, this feels like an over, doesn't it? It's 63 and a half is a lot, but especially with the arm, that army defense, but I think it's going to be the play. I think it is because when you pass that much, sometimes this doesn't matter. I still think they get 300 yards at least. So, and I think they get closer to damn 400 by the time they're done 400 rushing, which you have those two. That's got to be an over. So we'll take the over 63 and a half. Yeah, that's what it is. Plus juice too. So you probably get 63 out there. So that's what I'm going to do. 63. We'll take over that. Let's keep moving. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Colorado. I like how articles are coming out. People are saying Colorado could win the Big 12. It's like, can they? Can they? Can they though? Uh, Texas Tech. There we go. Let's see. I mean, this is a game that will tell us everything because Shador has the number eighth in passing against the second worst pass defense in the country. Shador might throw for 500 yards. I'm just going to tell you right now. He might. Travis Hunter might catch 300 yards of receiving yards. Just let me throw that out there. Because they're going to throw a lot and have some success. They don't run, which is that's fine. They run a little bit as average. So it's going to be a passing shootout. The Where is it at? I know we just saw it. Did I see it? Maybe I'm blind. Colorado is 61 and a half. This game is going to be so damn high scoring. I don't think people understand yet. Uh, uh, but give me the over 61.5. Um, I don't know who wins. I think Colorado probably wins. They are favored by four and a half. Uh, but that defense right there is, I mean, they're going to throw their way back in the game a lot. So I can see them getting 40 plus points. I can see them getting 20 plus points. Boom. There's your over right there. That's all we need. So, uh, yeah, I'll take the over. And don't be surprised. It could be four to 500 because if Prime wants him to have some Heisman love or Hunter, one of them is going to have a month. Both of them will probably have a monster game, especially on the heels of what we just watched last night in the NFL with Burrow and Chase. Best believe they're going to try to replicate that against this second worst pass defense. I would have as I was a coach, literally 200 plus for Hunter, 400 plus for Shadur. That's my official prediction is what i'm guessing so if you do props there you go have fun i don't do props so but yeah moving on <laughs> uh it's mainly a fading as texas tech's defense because they're so bad uh no oh, great we're going to two lane next do we have to go to two lane i don't want to go to two lane i mean temple not two lane. i'm thinking tulsa tulsa is the bad one. <laughs> oh, oh i just threw random shade at tulsa sorry tulsa but whatever you know you're bad 68 verse 49 81 verse 20 nope nope Nope. And yup. All right. Two lane it is. Give me under 14. Give me 13 and a half. Ooh. Ooh. 26 and a half. Damn. Damn. That's a lot. That's a high. That's a high number. Why is that so high? Now I got I to gotta investigate why it's so high. Because I don't believe it's supposed to be a, that high. Uh, how bad is Temple? Let's find a running team against Temple. How have they done? And how do you how do you do against them? Let's see. Mm, mm, six wins in a row for Tulane. They beat Charlotte by that. 
They just score 71 on UAB. That's still crazy to me. Temple defense is terrible. You know what? Let's do one of these fun little team totals. I think Temple, not Temple, Tulane is going to score points. So, um, team props. Tulane, give me like 28. No, of course, boy, you're, you're like, okay, we'll give you 38. How about that? Okay, I'm passing. That's just way too much. That's too much, too much. I can't pay that. I'm sorry, I can't. Let's keep her moving. We're going to UTEP next. Oh, man, we're getting to the, the, the bad games. Just the not good games. <laughs> UTEP. Um, but, 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 there they are. Look here. Oh, here. I forgot to show you. It's so bad. Oh, oh disgusting. Disgusting. I can't. I just look at there. I'll show you for a second. You see it? Have you locked in? Because that is absolute. I'm going to go put this on the curb real quick so they can pick it up tomorrow. This is so bad. No, next. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. Oh, my God. Uh, pass. Pass times two. <laughs> I just can't. Give me Vandy, please. Good team. Yay. Good game. Sacramento Vandy. Now that is schedule worthy to me right there, guys. That's it. Let's open up the... I'm a Vandy fan this year. I don't care. I like me some Vandy. I'm all about the underdogs doing good. It's good stuff. So, you see they beat old uh, South Carolina. Lost to Bama. Lost to Ole Miss. Lost to LSU. Okay, cool. Beat the hell out of AM though. Had that. I picked that last week. I was like, yep, yeah, plus three at home. Let me get that. The stats lined up for it. Let's see what Vandy's been up to. You beat Auburn. They're 17 7. Beautiful game. Watched almost the whole game. Lost to Texas. I watched almost the whole game. Still, how do you lose a Georgia State? <laughs> I just don't understand. I don't know. Nobody understands. Hell, Georgia State don't even understand. So, neither one could pass worth a damn. They're both decent at running. Oh, no. I broke my sheet almost. See? The C? Sometimes it breaks. Um, one, 106 versus 38. It's a nope. 103 versus 70. It's a nope. 49 versus 20. It's a nope and a nope. It's all defense, baby. All defense around here. Um, so when it's all defense, I think we're going, we look, we're going to look at the under. So we're going to go Vandy. 46 and a half. I'm down. I'm going to ride that under. That's four defensive advantages. So uh, we're going to go under 46.5. Sounds simple enough to me. Cool with me. So let's move on. Ugh, ugh. I just keep seeing the games coming up and I get nauseous. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, La Tech. Okay. 99 versus 30. That's defense. 51 versus 60. That's a push. 3 versus 28. Still slight lean to Jack State. That's 25 points. That's in the slight. Uh, 20, 126, 140. Okay. This is a Jack State play. That's about it. So Jackson 10. I'm not paying 10. I don't I don't care. No, I'm not paying 10 for that. That is disgusting. If you were at home, I would, but not on the road. Mm -mm. No, we, no, no, mm -mm. no. All right. Arkansas State versus Louis. This is Lafayette, right? Yeah, the Raging Cajuns. Uh, 45 versus 17. Defense, 34 versus 96. That's 7-1. They're always so sneakily good. It's like they lose early, and then they just win the rest. And they're always like, they're going to be 10-2 and two probably. That's what they do, so... Uh, 34 reset. Yup. 94 reset. Nope. And yeah. All right. Yeah. L let me get some, uh, oh, there they are there. Louisiana is 14 and a half and I like it. I like it. I'll probably, I'll take it at, uh, 14, but you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you can find 14, grab it. So, or just buy it yourself, you know, why not? Pay a little more for it. Sometimes it's worth it for the push. I like pushes. So, and you want to pay even more 13 and a half. Yeah, why not? Let's go. Next is Western Kentucky, New Mexico State. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a beautiful little just. Yep, exactly what I thought it'd be. It was what I thought they were. Twenty five versus a hundred. Western Kentucky clearly. One thirty two. Nope. Fifty six. Hey, New Mexico State can run the ball somewhat against them. Interesting. And then another now that's just terrible. So we have two advantages. They're up seventy five spots. They are forty. 44 uh, um 18 and a half no chance no sir uh-uh not a chance in hell i am not paying at minus 18 for western kentucky on the road at new mexico state watch new mexico state take that bitch to overtime you already know they will just mm -mm, mm -mm, not me no -uh, i'm not today let's go okay decent 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 
Okie State TCU. Okay, I think I'm at a good break point. We're gonna, I'm gonna look at this a little bit, take a break, be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, Oklahoma State TCU. Let's look. Um, this isn't schedule worthy. Oklahoma State's terrible. They forgot how to, like, how do you have Ollie Gordon and just forget how to play offense? I don't know how you do that. You do had the best offensive line or he was juiced out of his mind. There was only reasons. No way you get that bad in one season. Something's up. Um, let's see. 27 versus 21. That's a push. 5 versus 111. Oh, my God. That is who. Neither team could run, apparently. Neither team could stop the run. So, hell, watch all I go and bust up 200 yards now. Just watch. Or whoever runs the ball now. They might have benched him. He might be hurt. Who knows? I'm going to look up TCU because I like their passing. Let's see what we have. It is TCU by 10 and a half. Nah. I mean, ugh, yeah, I think I like that. I think I like TCU by 10. At home, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Oklahoma State. Is it getting close to the point where they talk about maybe Gundy being on a hot seat? You think? I think it's getting close. It should be anyways because this is terrible. You did something wrong. Something's up. You had it all lined up and it ain't working out for you. So I'm I'm sorry. Just can't hold up. The defense is terrible. You both can pass. Now we're going TCU. I thought about maybe going over, but nah. We'll just take Texas Christian. Let's go. Mississippi State, Tennessee. Well, this should be a 28 point spread, I'm guessing. Mississippi State is the epitome of bat. Let's look. Um there they are. 24 point spread. I was close. I was so close. Let's look. Um, 41 verse 22, Tennessee. 61 verse 108, Tennessee. 87 verse 6, Tennessee. 7 verse 124, Tennessee. Oh, you're the only 10 I see. Minus 24 because that's what it should be. Yeah. I'm not even going to spend no time talking about this because that's you can see this. Mississippi State does not know. If it was in Miss State, maybe if it was in Starkville, but it's not. It's in uh, Tennessee. So, yeah, we'll just take the blowout and move on. Next, moving the hell on. UCF and is that Arizona State? It is Arizona State. Ooh, okay. Um, I don't like how I don't have many upsets or plus bets today. I don't, I'm missing. I'm missing those out. Hmm. Interesting. 93 versus 53, that's Arizona State. 82 versus 106, that's Arizona State. 2 versus 26, I mean, and 19 versus 30, that, this is all the same. What is the spread? Arizona State minus 2.5. This feels kind of like a, a pass. This is too close. Uh, neither team's offensive amazing. Now the over-under is 55.5, and, and they are pretty decent, but there's nothing. They're going to shut down their strength, so yeah, we're going to pass. I just, who knows what's going to happen in this one. If both teams do what they're supposed to do, it's going to be, hell, it could be 20 to 20. It could be 50 to 50. I don't know. So why even pay to find out? Let's just go to the next blowout on the screen because it's going to be this one. <laughs> um, ooh, mom. <laughs> yeah. No. Like, what, what are we doing here? Interesting. Not that high of a spread. It's only 23 and a half. I figured it'd be higher. Let's see why. Nine versus 18. That shuts you down right there. 11 versus 28. Okay, we're going to have a Heisman performance from Oregon, from uh, Herbert. So that's exactly what's going to happen. Heisman trophy performance, 60 versus 115. I mean, 15. That's some defense. 107. Yeah, Oregon's going to just Oregon. <laughs> Oregon's going to Oregon. Yep, minus. Uh, I took their team total last time. It was great. So, but I think this time they actually stomp 30 plus point win. I'm not, I'm not concerned. It's 23 and a half right now. I will take that and move on. Oh, this let's go to the game of the week. Roll Tide and LSU. There's a whole age old saying that the Tide don't lose and Baton Rouge. Well, this Tide might. <laughs> so we'll see. Let's look at the numbers, shall we? 42 versus 86. Well, those are going to be Jalen Miller with deep balls right there. So that's going to be some points for Alabama. Six first 34. That's going to be some yards, but not, maybe not 332, but it's going to be some that they'll have some, they'll have, that's 25. That's a slight advantage of LSU. They can't run with the damn LSU can't. So advantage and 47 versus 48 to push. So it's literally going to be passing versus passing, but they don't do that great at it. Uh, currently, is is Bama minus two and a half on the road? On the road, Bama has not been good this year or last year. So, 
but defense has been kind of bad too. So over 58 and a half it is. I expect one of those fun LSU Bama shootouts, not a defensive one, a shootout. So we're going to go over 58.5. I don't know who's going to win. I have no damn clue. If I'm going numbers wise, this versus this is 40. This versus this is 30. That's my biggest thing. Everything else is kind of defense. So, mm. Yeah, let me get some let me get some points, please. Points, please. Let's see. Moving on. We got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games left. Cool. Uh forward to Notre Dame. Let's move on to that. Notre Dame. Ugh. Okay. Now everybody. It's okay. It's okay. You can look. I know Halloween's over, but sometimes scary things pop up on the screen. And this is one of them, so. Ooh, okay, how do we do this? What is the spread? It's 25 and a half for Notre Dame at home against the lovely four, one and eight Florida State. <laughs> oh, okay. Neither team could pass for the damn. 108 versus four, defense. 105, 40, defense. 132, 44. Mm -mm. 13 versus 115. There's your game right there. It's going to be Notre Dame running the ball down Florida State's throat. And who now this is actually worthy? I didn't look at Bama LSU. Wow, I didn't look at their schedules. Probably should have, but you know what? We've already passed. We've moved on. We, we don't look back in life. We move forward. So <laughs> we're going to look at this shit show, though, because I want to see who was it for Florida? Was it North Carolina that ran for like 500 yards? Someone did. And does Notre Dame have like a beast like running back? Like, I just want to see who runs. Is it love? Is love the guy or is it prize? Or is it who, who runs the ball for him? I don't know. These are decent. But where was it? it mm, let's open up North Carolina. They'll tell me. They'll tell me. Don't worry. Hampton? I think it was Hampton or something. It was mm, not box score. Somebody ran for a lot. I think this was his. Uh, Hampton, 172 and four touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah. Now does. Uh, Notre Dame have somebody like that. So let's go to stats. Anybody like a thousand yard rusher? Um, it's uh, no, not really. They don't run the ball much, even though they're 13th in rushing yards per game. It's like they're like a running, uh, yeah, they're a committee. Ooh, that's that could be in Rod Leonard, too. Hmm, okay. I'm not taking Notre Dame by 25 and a half, though. I just can't. And I'm not taking Florida State again. So we're not too. I learned my lesson last week. I took them plus three, thought maybe something was up. No, nothing was up except a loss. That's what was up. So we're going to pass on this. So, but that's a fun thing to look at. That was fun. Uh, yeah, hell no. <laughs> no. All right, onward and upward. Brady Cook, doubtful now. Downgraded to doubtful. So most likely not playing. Other guy will play who. I saw a little bit of him during against Bama. He did not look good. So let's see what we have. I know Oklahoma's this bad. So who knows what the hell we're going to get in this game. 107 versus 10 defense. 70, probably less than 70 now with the downgrade. Push, maybe defense. 82 versus 54 defense. 55 versus 17 defense. What's the total in this game? Uh, it is 41 and a half. Dude, that's ugly. That's so. I was thinking 45 under, but 41. No, that's a pass for me, partner. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Mm -mm, not today. Not today. Defense is looking all that green, all this red. Yeah. Um, if you like under 41 and a half, by all means, go for it. I can't do that. That's too low. That's too too cheap. Uh, -uh. where are we going? Oh, okay, we're going Happy Valley. All right, you finally lost. James Franklin's on a hot seat again, according to everybody. So let's see what's up. 23 versus 19 push 43 versus two Washington 77 versus 14 defense 33 versus 71 they run the ball that's all they got to do the, the advantage is Penn State they're 13 and a half point favorites do they bounce back and beat the hell of Washington or does the defense show up and we just take an under 46 and a half I think we take the under 46 and a half this feels like uh this I mean I watched the, almost the whole Penn State how's that game Penn State's offense is terrible let's just be honest they're just garbage the numbers look okay, but they just look terrible against an actual defense, which Washington has an actual defense. So, yeah, if anything, Washington plus 13 and a half might be a good play, too. I'm just going to take that under 46 and a half. Both of them look good. So, moving the hell on. Oh, love. Oh, come back. Pittsburgh, Pitty Pit, 7 1 Pit. Mm -mm -mm. 
I am going to look at Pitt because I cannot remember when the, who, who beat them. I can't remember this, so let me find out real quick. Schedule, schedule, schedule. Oh, it was SMU last week. That's right. Like, what? Random. <laughs> you went to SMU and they whooped your ass. Like, bad. It happens. Sometimes you get your ass whooped. Randomly. So if you haven't, it's coming eventually. Don't you worry. Uh, so you've lost three in a row. Now you're at Pitts. Damn, you got three out of four home road games at the end. That's not good. Terrible right there. Okay. 33 versus 117. Passing. 17 versus 127. Passing. I don't need to see anything else. What's the over? <laughs> What's the over in this one, my good sir? Oh, it says 57 and a half. I think I shall partake in that one. Yes, I will. Over 57.5. Thank you very much. Thank you, delectable. I can't wait to dine on this. Moving on. I just can't. Yeah, it's it's too... That's two massive advantages on passing. Yeah, they're going to pass all day. And one gets behind, guess what? The other one is going to keep passing. That's all I need to see. Uh, Nevada and... Uh, Borge. Hmm... 96 versus 107. Push. Defense. Push. Winner. <laughs> oh, Boise. 24 and a half, though. Damn. Why is it so much? Why are you so expensive? Shit. I can't force some of these plays today. Like, damn. They, they suck. Uh, I mean, yeah, probably. I mean, but damn. That's why you. Why can't you? Why can't I get a discount? I got to be a coupon or something. Shit. Hey, all right. I mean, I'm taking it because, I mean, we, we know who's running the ball. Um, but I'm going to take it at 24 because I know I'll, I'll buy it if I have to. It's 24 and a half. Yeah, I'll take it. So defenses are just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's enough. It's all I need to see. Yeah, boring blowouts. All right, now we're going to Hawaii. Mm -mm, no. 116-61, <laughs> defense. Defense. Oh, wait, wait. Pass. Hawaii offense, oh, yeah. Wow, six for 34. Mm, slightly deep them. And then no. So yeah, the advantage offensively is Hawaii passing. Really? Hawaii's 13 and a half. Do I take them plus 14 at home? You know, they do have it. And their strength does get kind of negated a little bit. Six for 34, but this versus this. Hawaii passing. What's the over under? 50? It's EV play too. Ooh, I'll say fifty. I like fifty. I can see you want to be. You know, he's going to score. I'm not worried about that. Hawaii's going to score too. I think. I think they got. I think they can do this. Yeah. And then for some reason, UNV just routes Hawaii and they still score twenty. I'll take this. This is a win. Forty-one twenty-one. That's a win for me. I'm okay with that. A win's a win. A win's a win. Oh, this is ugly. All right. What's the start here? Thirty-six first forty-five. That's a push. You can't do anything else, and you can't, well, you're going to shut them down because your passing game is good. You're, damn, what's this spread? Nine and a half? Mmm, this almost wants me to take Air Force because, yeah, y yeah, yeah, Air Force plus 10. Let's roll. I'm down for that. AF plus 10. Let's roll. Wait. There we go. AF plus 10. I'm down with Air Force at home getting 10 points when there's no clear advantage. I'm down with that. We are we're gonna ride with that. Let's go. We got a random holy war. Just no one mentioned was no one gonna tell me the holy war was this weekend. Like, what are we doing here? Like, come on. I know it's four and four and eight. No, but this is the holy war. This should have been game day. I don't care about Bam LSU. Give me the holy war. Because this is Man, that's such a good rivalry. That's it's such an underrated rivalry. Where am I going? There it is. Underrated. Let's see. Let's see. UCF. Yeah, you've been doing. Yeah, of course. You're just whooping ass. You're ninth in the rankings. Cool. Good job. Uh, Utah is. They had aspirations of being ranked. They're four and four. They've lost four in a row now. And I mean, they're, they're hanging in the games. But now they have a rival. Rivalry games are fun. What's the spread? It's by oh, it's BYU by three. They know oh, the rivalry. Oh my goodness. Let's pop back. Okay. What do we have? 59 versus 14. Defense. 75 versus 24. Defense. 58 versus 53. Push. 74 versus 69. Push. Two defenses, two pushes. What's the over under? 41 and a half. This feels like a this feels like Army Navy. Just 14-17 final. Doesn't it? It feels like that. Uh, does BYU have any points? They do score some points. 
I think I got to go with BYU. They just, I'm going to go with the better team. I don't want to take 41, so I'll take I'll take BYU minus three. They've been looked down upon all year. They've been whooping ass. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to, let's go BYU. Um, but such a good little rivalry. So good. And let's move on to that last game. Utah State, Washington. State. Sneaky little seven and one team, right? Very sneaky. How sneaky are they? Let me open up their rank 21st. Interesting. You want to see their schedule? Here you go. Their only loss is to Boise. That was it. But um, this dude's chucking that ball. And I mean, that's not been the hardest schedule, let's be honest. So, but I'm not, I'm not showing Utah State. You don't need to see it. 10 versus 124, though. Ooh, they can throw. Ooh, okay, over. <laughs> Okay, yep, they understand that it is the over under for this game is set at 70. So, all right, okay, you got me 70. I'm down, I'm here. Uh, what else we got? Even the rushing 59 versus 132. They can run the ball, they can throw the ball, they can run eh, slightly, but there, okay, cool. Well, everyone, I don't know about you, but that was fun. That was literally all 40 of the college football games on Saturday whole bunch of talking my throat is sore now i need a cough drop so um i appreciate you watching drop a like and subscribe let me know in the comments if you see any injuries come up again let me know if you, if i missed something um just put stuff in there i appreciate you being here again if it was a long ass video i know become a member you can skip all of it go to the website you see it pop up every few minutes i appreciate you being here and we will see you next week for more college football